the ISA-1 Digital, the classic Focusrite Mic Pre and simultaneous DI. Now with class leading stereo ADC as standard. We're here on the Vintage King booth at the EAS show and I'm talking to Robert about his black box mic preamplifier. Now to me mic preamps are small things that make make a very small signal somewhat larger but this thing's about the size of my guitar amp so what's going on in there? Well uh, funny you should mention guitar amp because the black box mic pre in many ways is similar to a guitar amp. Something that frustrated me as an engineer was that with a typical mic pre, I can turn it up and I can turn it down and that's the sound I get. Whereas with a Fender amp or some other guitar amp, I have a whole range of tonal possibilities. And I always thought, why can't I do that with a mic pre? So my partner and I decided to build a mic pre that would do exactly that. This mic pre, the black box, is capable of pretty much any frequency response you can imagine. And it's all done at the tube. So if you want 20 dB of high end, where you would typically try to go to an EQ and squeeze that out, you know what happens, the comb filtering, the phasing. The black box can do it, and it can do it cleanly, and it does it right at the tube. Now I see here you have different controls for pentode and triode. Is this for different flavors of um, warmth, shall we say? Well. The pentode and triode are each voiced differently. You almost have to think of these as active gain slash tone controls. By blending the two and with the variable impedance and our um, low cut filters, that allows you to obtain all the different frequencies that you're looking for. And I do it with one single vacuum tube. So it's done very cleanly. I, I'm not handing the signal from one tube to another tube to another tube one single vacuum tube, any frequency response you can imagine, it's it built by engineers for engineers. So you're running one tube and you're biasing it so that it operates in either pentode or triode mode or a blend of the two? Exactly. Well, no, you can, you can operate it in pentode and triode or if you're working with something where you don't want the harmonics and the sizzle, turn the triode off and that's great for guitar cabinets it's wonderful if um, if you're uh, like as a room mic or for overhead drums if they're a bit sizzly great turn the triode off now you have a power beam pentode you've got plenty of gain and you can get the sound you're looking for without having to plug in an EQ and we've also been told because our because this tube soft clips so well really the need uh, for a compressor while you're tracking is rather eliminated. It sounds good, looks impressive, so what's it going to cost if we want to buy one and when can we have one? Well, Vintage King has just added it to the catalog. The price is to be decided. Uh, that's something we're going to discuss here at this event, but I, I would uh, encourage your readers to go to Vintage King, uh, look at the catalog. We are going to announce uh, a price soon. Thanks very much, Robert. Thank you. That's great.